travelers and welcome back to another episode here at Tours to Local. My name is Juliana and that's Martine and this weekend we're exploring around the beautiful city of San Miguel de Allende. Before going to breakfast we decided we wanted to stop by the church because there's no one here we figured it'd be a perfect time to visit however they do not allow filming or cameras inside so unfortunately we can't show you the inside. I guess that means you're gonna have to come here yourself to see it. going to San Miguel de Allende is picking a place to eat because there's so many. Like we passed by like 10 or 15 before we finally decided to go back to this place. It's called Compagno. It is popping. Like there's a lot of people here and we're pretty early in the morning and the menu looks incredible. They have peasant scrambled eggs. They have all sorts of casseroles with poached eggs. They got a selection of chilaquiles. Lots of berries, oatmeal, organic goat cheese and grilled pepper omelet, croquet, madame, eggs benedict. This is like brunch done Juliana style. Tell me what you ordered. Uh, some eggs in a casserole with nopales. Yeah. yeah. It's like cactus. Cactus. Looks really good. Mm, looks good. And I got the French toast. Yum. All the berries were there. I know. I nice. love berries. Seriously. One of the best breakfasts I've had in this country. That French toast was divine. The whipped cream was so whipped. It was like a cloud. Martine, how was yours? Describe it. Amazing. The best sex I ever had. <laughs> really. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Wow. It's really, really good. Next, we are kind of in a hurry because we're going to miss our date. Uh, we are on our way to a very unique place. I'm going to just leave it at that. We're headed to a place that you need a reservation to see. It is called Chapel of Jimmy Ray. You guys are in for a treat. This is gonna be an experience for us all. We made it in time here to Chapel of Jimmy Ray. This place is unlike anything I've ever seen. We're getting a private tour from Carlos. So you do have to make a reservation to come here. This is home to Anado. He's an American artist who is from Oklahoma. He created this entire place along with the help of his friend Carlos. Carlos is giving us a tour and it is the coolest place. Art here is incredibly unique. There's so much detail and use of tiles and bottles and recycling and it's so, so cool. The tour is typically about an hour long. They do recommend a 200 peso donation, so around 10 bucks. Really, really cool. I'm enjoying it so far. Let's go see more. bathroom that is completely decorated this entire place they did not miss a single detail he loved to use bottles in his work you guys have to check this out because when you go inside this bathroom you close the doors and you can see all the colors of the bottles let's go inside I know this is kind of weird but let's go <laughs>
Uh, so this is my favorite. This is Quetzalcoatl. That is the feather snake. It's one of the Aztecs gods. Look at this. Just a head. The head is so crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> we decided to change our outfits because I wanted to get some more Instagram photos in. Follow me at Tourist to Local to see what those turned out to be like. And we're exploring around town now a bit. Just walking into any little building we see and seeing what they have there. I have to tell you guys, I have never seen a town so dedicated to unique furniture and home furnishing. Like, this place is the place to go if you're remodeling your home or if you're getting a house. I really want to buy everything, but we're trying to be on a budget, walking around, um, seeing what else we can find here in this town. All right, Martin, what did we find? We find the house of Ignacio Allende. Ooh, who's he? <laughs> that was very important for the independence movement here in Mexico. Awesome, so this is his house. That's right. We got an entrance. And there's a museum right now. So awesome. Let's see what they got. What are we doing now, honey? We're doing an ice cream. Yes. As always, we love to treat ourselves with ice cream. <laughs> Para mí vainilla. ¿Vainilla? Sí, por favor. We just headed back to our Airbnb because we want to relax a little bit because we have another big day tomorrow. We're just gonna cook some pasta here at home since we're trying to save some money. Martine's watching some soccer right now and that's our night. That's it for day one in San Miguel de Allende. Tomorrow, let's see what happens. Good morning, everyone. We're up bright and early here in our Airbnb. We realize we haven't gotten a chance yet to show you guys where we're staying. We're gonna stay in a hotel before, but we figured an Airbnb would be a better experience because we were browsing online through Airbnb's selection and we're so impressed by the options they had here. Everything is so cute. Right now we're in this Airbnb that's within walking distance of town and it was like $35 a night, something crazy like that. So it was a really good deal. We feel right at home here and best of all, we've been able to cook a lot of our own meals here to save ourselves some money. If you're planning to go to San Miguel de Allende, I have a gift for you down below in the description. I have $40 off your first Airbnb booking you can use this and you can basically have one night free in a place like this, which is a super great gift for all of my followers. I hope you appreciate it. Also in the description bar, I list everywhere we've been, lots of other links as well, so make sure you're checking that out every single video I post. And we're gonna have some breakfast. Yes, we're starving, so let's get to it. Let's go. <laughs> a really cool breakfast place called Lavenda. It's so cute. They have this really neat tree inside the courtyard and there's a musician playing music. The menu looks awesome. I ordered the latte lavender, which is latte with a little bit of lavender in it. Sounds interesting to me. We're gonna try it. I ordered the most delicious sandwich ever. It's called gallito, I think. It's a sandwich with ciabatta bread, eggs, bacon, and these like sweet potato chips which looks so good. But Martine ordered this thing. What is it called? It's called uh, Huevos Toscanos. Huevos Toscanos. It's like pesto, mozzarella, tomato, and really good looking poached eggs. I'm a little bit jealous, but also mine looks amazing. And Martine decided to join the team Lavender Latte, so he ordered one as well. I can't wait to dig in. We had such a great breakfast. I never get sick of wandering around this town, and that's exactly what we're doing now. And we were told there's an art district in this neighborhood called Guadalupe, Colonia Guadalupe. And they have lots of street art. We're gonna go check it out, see if that's true. Honestly, this whole entire town is filled with art. So I'm excited to see an area that specializes in art this time.
we've been exploring around San Miguel de Allende, we have been stopping every two minutes in front of all the beautiful doors and colorful buildings. That's the one really important thing to know about this city is that it is known for its cute buildings. We are stepping up our Instagram game here, taking photos in front of every single door that we love. So make sure you're giving me a follow at Tourist Local. I'm trying to hit 10K. I also love to talk to you guys through there, answer your questions, and most importantly, see what your vacations are all about. I like to build a community, so make sure you're following over there. Martin's account is Pitacora de Viajero. Forgot to mention, he actually has an account as well in Spanish on YouTube. So if you like watching in Spanish, if you want to brush up on some Spanish, that's a good place to start. Next up for us, we're headed to Mary Lau's Mexican Ancestry cooking class. We're going to be doing some traditional dishes here. I'm excited because cooking is one of my favorite ways to get to know a city. So let's get started. So far, we made our green sauce, our red sauce, we cooked our nopales, which is cactus, and now we're cooking up some chorizo. Juliana is much better than me cooking, that's why she's doing this. So far, we made red sauce, green sauce, well, we made, she did. Check out what we made. We got the green enchilada, the red enchilada. Oh my god, it looks so good. We've been given permission to dig in, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's try our creation. Mmm. Yum. Oh my god. Really good. Wow. This is probably the best enchilada I've ever had. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try this dish, which is chorizo, chicken, and nopales. Lots of good stuff going on here. Mmm! That's good. Right? Mm-hmm. I like the nopales. It kind of reminds me of green beans, but something a little bit different. Mmm. <laughs> Delicioso? Delicious. I present to you the star of the show. This is Mary Lau. She was our chef today. She taught me so much about Mexican cuisine, the history. She told so many cool stories. I just want to say thank you so much for having us. We had the best time. If my followers want to make a reservation to come here, how can they do that? Uh, they, um, I usually get reservations by email. Okay. And you have my email. Yes. Also. And um, uh, please make the reservation with um, uh, time in advance because sometimes this is crowded. So if you want really to fit into a class with time enough. Yes, that sounds good. We're gonna leave all of the links down below to the website, email, she's got Instagram as well, so you can give her a follow. And once again, thank you for having Was us. Was my pleasure. Thank Was you. my pleasure. Thank Next stop for us is a place called Chocolate y Churros San Agustin. I've heard lots about this place and I am craving a good churro right now. A little hint though guys, if you want to beat the lines, they say that if you take your churros to go, it's a lot faster. There's also seating inside. We're gonna go check it out. I'm ready for a snack. I didn't realize how difficult this would be, guys. It's not just like you walk in and you get yourself a churro, no. I mean, you can do that, but there's like, it's a big menu. It's a lot of choices. So um, I ended up getting the chocolate frio, so like a chocolate milk with a filled churro with Caramel. But they also had like filled with rompope, they had it filled with strawberries, Nutella, chocolate, um, and like they have this like package kind of deal where you can get it with a hot chocolate or a cold chocolate. And don't even get me started on the hot chocolate options. It was like 10 or 12. So lots of options here. Great place if you have a sweet tooth like me. Oh, I forgot how much I love chocolate milk. I like used to drink it all the time after the gym. I haven't had it in forever. It's really good. All right, let's dig into this churro. This is a churro relleno de cajeta, which means caramel. Let's try it. 
Mm. Oh my god. Good. You can taste the love. Really good. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was and if you're planning to visit San Miguel de Allende soon. Yeah, we'd love to know. Also make sure you are subscribed to both of us because next time you see us we're going to be going to Tepoztlan. It's a magic town here in Mexico. Super cool. We've been a couple times already but this time we're taking you guys along with us. If you're interested in learning more about the Spanish language and uh, seeing all our videos in Spanish, Martin's channel is the exact same thing as mine. We do the same travel guides, but his are in Spanish. Um, so make sure you subscribe to him. Make sure you subscribe to me. I mean, it's free for you. The button's just right down below. What's it costing you, honestly? Also, we both have Instagrams as well. Links in the description down below, as well as that $40 off Airbnb code. Lots going on in the description bar today, folks. And, uh, is that all the self-promotion we have for now? I think it is. I think it is. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. And that's it, folks. That, 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 that's it, folks. Okay.